adrenaline is pumping, man. Germany is literally the only developed country where cars like this can go as fast as they can. <laughs> Why even bother building them in the UK when they can't do it over there? But anyway, that's what we're going to find out today. Why Germany and why I am so obsessed with speed. As a German, you grow up knowing that faster is better. From racing toy cars with my younger brother to my dad basically pushing everyone off the street who's not doing 200 kilometers an hour. And the German car industry makes you believe that driving as fast as you can is the way to go. And we've got the perfect race track to do it. Our beloved German Autobahn. Yeah. The first real Autobahn was opened in 1932 between Bonn and Cologne. It had a speed limit of 120 km per hour. Then the Nazis took power and claimed they had built the first one and they insisted on calling it Reichsautobahn. The Nazis also got rid of all the speed limits. The only time they came back was from 73 to 74 during the oil crisis and it was set at 100 kilometers an hour. And the government even wanted to keep it, but the federal states absolutely did not. Now it's just 100 again. How am I supposed to drive this car out if there's 100 kilometers limitations everywhere? The sad reality is you can't go flat out everywhere on the German Autobahn. Well, we're supposed to drive in very fast and instead we're stuck in a traffic jam and that's also a reality of the glorious German Autobahn. Yes, we do have traffic jams and construction sites as well in Germany. Even worse, about a third of the German Autobahn has speed limits and it's recommended that you drive 130 kilometers on the other part. Recommended, you can't get fined if you drive faster. But why 130? Because in 1970 alone, more than 20,000 people died on Germany's roads, which got the conversation going about speed limits. In 1977, a large-scale comparative study concluded a speed limit reduces crashes by 9 to 11 percent and deaths by 20 to 23 percent. But a specific speed limit was a no-fly with the German public and the hugely influential automobile club ADAC even campaigned against it. So we ended up with a recommended speed limit of 130. To find out how bad high-speed crashes really are, I'm taking an accident researcher for a spin in my ridiculously overpowered Jag. <laughs> Siegfried Brockmann has been reviewing car accidents for over 15 years for German insurers, the people that pay for all those crashes. At the speed we're at now, you would automatically lose your driving license. He's joking, of course, uh, right? But for someone who researches accidents for a living, well... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's more like it. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> he loves speed. He's German after all. But let's get serious again. What does crashing at higher speeds actually mean? In the formula for kinetic energy, velocity has a quadratic effect. That means that an increase of just 10 kmh creates proportionally a much higher amount of energy. So even driving just a little bit faster greatly increases the risk of life-changing injuries or worse. Studies estimate that every extra kilometer per hour pushes the number of crashes up by 4%. But it is also true that there are other countries that have a speed limit in place and still more people die per month than in Germany. Just look at the Czech Republic, the United States and Italy, for example. But the UK and Denmark also have speed limits and fewer deaths per month. The problem is that these statistics are barely comparable because of so many variables like road condition, types of vehicles driven and visibility. 
One thing is for sure, Germany's car industry does not want a general speed limit. It pushes the sales pitch autobahn tested like a drug to all you people outside Germany who want to drive mind-blowingly fast cars and still feel safe. Feel safe? Yeah, until you don't. Any weakling can drive at 250 kmh. I think he means me. Even for good drivers, things can go sideways very fast. Siegfried thinks change must come. So I think we need a speed limit that most people would accept. I think that would be 150 kilometers an hour. That would still allow us to get from A to B as fast as possible, and most people don't go faster than that anyway. The growing concern for the environment and the shift to electric might get Germany to a speed limit a little bit faster. Maybe even quicker than the US changes its gun laws. I mean, electric is cool and everything, but you can't go flat out for long without nuking the battery. Yes, that's the spirit, baby! Jesus, I'm such a fan of speed. I mean, the acceleration. Listen to this, this is insane. But driving at speeds unfit for the situation is a major reason why people die on the German Autobahn. And to be honest, driving for 200 kilometers an hour in a straight line gets really boring after some time. So if you want to have the time of your life and go fast, do it on a racetrack, like my colleague Ronnie did over here or here. <laughs>